Hello, good day everyone. Happy Magic Monday. Today I'm doing an oracle reading and I am using the Messenger Oracle by Raven Phelan. And I'll put that description of the cards in the description box below. And today we have two that fell out of the deck. One is See the Signs. It's a really pretty card. The wolf down there. And this card basically is telling us to pay attention that there are some things that's going on around us, some things that we're not really paying attention to and we really need to be more conscious in. There are signs that we are seeing and we are not paying attention. There are different, um, there are different ideas, there's different um, messages. There's just a whole array of things that are going on around us we're not really fully looking at. It's time for us to be very cautious and very um, conscious about what is going on in our life. Be mindful here, be mindful. There's things that you are looking for. They're around you. You just have to be willing to see them. And pay attention. This is this card specifically, you know, says to you to pay attention. There's more going on here than you see. The questions that you are asking, you are getting answers. You just have to be willing to see them. And that's the biggest thing. Sometimes we get so caught up on how we think things should be that we ignore something else. We get so caught up with that. And that leads us to disappointment. That leads us to, you know, just unsatisfaction and feeling down about ourselves. But just because something doesn't work out the way that we think it should doesn't mean it's bad. We have to detach ourselves from the... Um, the idea of it should be this way. It should be. Sometimes things don't work out exactly the way we want them to work out and they work out better or they work out a different way that takes us on a different path that is better for us. We really get attached to how we want our life to be. And when we do that, that really makes us narrow-minded and we fail to see the other opportunities that are around us that offer us so much more. So pay attention to what's going on around you right now. Be very conscious. Be, um, be still and pay attention. Practice the, the uh, art of being present in the moment and just see what you will find. Now the next card that popped out of the deck is you were born to create and that is a beautiful card. It's that dragon. A lot of yellow and gold. There's a little bit of red back there and some orangey red. That is creation. That is that spark of energy. And here, this card is basically saying to us that as we pay attention and as we see what's really there, that we need to start creating something that is better for us. We need to stop letting other people make decisions for our life. Other people decide what's going to happen for us. We need to take that responsibility back. And... In doing so, we have to understand that, okay, how do we create things? Well, it first stop, starts as a thought. So we are thinking this, right? And this is where we are beginning to work on this. How can I make this come about? And things start falling into place. The trick is, is to make it physical, to bring it from the um, unmanifest to the manifest, and it's time to do that. There's some things that you could be working on. There's some ideas that you could be having. There's something there that you are trying to uh, create for yourself and believe in yourself just a little bit more. You were born to create. You were born to create things in your life. 
That is what this human experience is about. It is about having experiences. And we can't be in fear of these experiences because then we lose the whole idea of what this life is about. Learning to take where we are, work around it, see other options that are available to us so we can then work on bringing into the manifest of what it is we want to create in our life. You know, we're going to have a lot of distractions at this time. And it's really imperative that we be conscious and be present in our life. Remember where you're going. Remember what you want to do. Stay on that. Commit yourself to that. Commit to yourself to what you want to bring to your art, to your creation. Commit yourself to you so that you can work on creating those things that you want to create. And this could be anything. This could be a painting. This could be a job. This could be your own business. This could be a piece of jewelry. Anything here, because this is a general reading. And many people are going through many different things at this time. And sometimes, you know, we can find ourselves living so far in the present that we fail to see what's going on around us. We're trying to live fast forward. And then we look into the past and we say, oh, well, that was good. I missed that. And then you're having a longing for the past while you're looking in the future. And how can I create that again? How can I create that again? And you're not grounding and centering yourself and being present to fully see what that walk was about. We have to understand that we're here to evolve, we're here to create, and we are here to grow and to expand. So we shouldn't be in the same place that we were a year ago. We shouldn't be in the same place that we were two years ago. We should be in a better place today. And we should work at working with what we have, what resources we can pull from, our ideas, those thoughts, you know, write if it helps you. If you are just, um, if you are, if your mind is blank about it, start writing about things. That will help you work it out as well. But it is a very imperative time to, um, to see the signs here. And remember that you were born to create. Okay, now I wish you all a wonderful week and happy Magic Monday. And I'll put the card's um, name in the description box below. I thank you very much for listening and watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And always follow me. That way you can always get that little ding when I publish a new video. Many blessings to you all.